G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and I'm down here in the orchard. I just thought I'd knock this video up for you guys real quick. It's off the cuff, so it's not going to be great editing material, but I think it's got a really great point and it's not the end of this knife. I found this mango underneath this tree here. I'd obviously missed it because, as you can see here, I've been bagging all my mangoes. Otherwise, if we don't, the fruit fly get it and, well, they don't always get it, but the fruit fly could sting most of the fruit and we only end up with half a harvest and sometimes we could lose up to 80% of the harvest of our mangoes. And it's such a prized fruit. You know, mangoes sell in the shops for up to four, sometimes five dollars each here in Australia. And that is just bloody ridiculous. And it's one of the reasons, only just one was money. One of the reasons why I decided to try to grow my own. Um, but I'll give you a few more in a minute. So anyway, I've bagged up as much fruit as possible. And this bagging method, which I'm going to show you guys in another video, I won't get into now because we haven't got time. Um, also, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm trialing it at the moment, but also should stop larger animals from getting it like possums and fruit bats and that type of thing. So far, so good. So I'll look out for that bagging video coming up very soon. But what I really wanted to say, what is happening with our fruit in the supermarket today? Especially some of these exotic fruits and tropical fruits that like mangoes, that are such a delicious fruit when left to ripen correctly. And what I mean by that is, we are getting duped as, as consumers because of regulations, greedy marketeers, people expecting perfect fruit on the supermarket shelf. We pay top dollar for mangoes, top dollar for lots of other good fruit. Really beautiful looking fruit on the supermarket shelf that tastes like absolute crap when you get it home. Tomatoes is another great example. And what do they do? The farmers pick them green, they often ripen them artificially. In, in the case of mangoes, they, they dip them in, an anti, in a pesticide so that in case it was stung by a fruit fly, that fruit fly doesn't get transported to another area, the maggot inside or whatever. And they also at the same time dip it in a fungicide so that it doesn't develop any of these black spots or anything like that while it's sitting on the shelf so that it, the fruit doesn't, ripen, doesn't rot in certain little places and it, and it also looks really nice for the consumer. You know, th that is not all well and good. You know, I could say, well, that's all well and good, but it's bloody not because why would I want to eat a... a a mango full of chemicals. I just don't. And what's even worse, I think, than that, say the chemicals um, don't affect us, right? In the off chance, in the in the, in the microscopic chance that a buildup of chemicals in our bodies doesn't actually hurt us in the long run and give us cancer or something. Say it doesn't. But just the fact that these guys, that this fruit is picked before it has a chance to ripen on the tree means that it's just going to taste like cardboard. It's certainly not going to taste as good as it should. My philosophy is quite simple really. A mango tree, it grows to reproduce. It has a happy life, a long life, but the way that it reproduces and makes more mango trees is by growing fruit and then that fruit gets eaten by an animal. The seed gets distributed away from the tree and then a new mango tree can grow. It's as simple as that, but how does that mango tree attract the animals at the right time? Well, it certainly does not tell the animal to eat the fruit before it's ready. And so what I mean by that is, it's not gonna tell the animal to eat the fruit while it's green, even though you can eat green mangoes. It's not gonna, it, but they taste different and they don't taste as sweet. And that's what most animals are after, that sugar and that sweetness. So a mango tree isn't going to say to the possum or the fruit bat, well, come and get it now before that seed is developed inside the mango because that's going to 
not event in a new mango tree growing is it right so what it does is it stays green it keeps its fruit green until practically the last minute really the last few weeks and when the seed inside is ready to be able to germinate and make a new mango tree it sends a signal to the animals and to the humans that I'm going to then ripen this fruit up the reproductive session is finished you know the cycle is over grab this fruit and 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 eat it and enjoy it if you pick this fruit early while it's green and hard the fruit does not have a chance to gather all the sugars and nutrients and all that type of thing that it usually would if it was left to ripen almost fully so the longer you leave the fruit ripen on the tree the better it tastes because there's more sugars and and natural goodness into that fruit There we go. That is, that is so sweet. I mean, you buy a mango tree, say from the from the nursery, twenty three dollars to to forty dollars, and in a couple of years, it's paying you back easily through its fruit. So. Even the rotten bits taste terrific. I'm sorry to do this to you, you know, in front of the camera and that, but I really just, uh, it just infuriates me. And, I, you know, people, people um, would say, well, what are you getting so upset for? But if I'm going to pay top dollar in the supermarket, or if you are, of we are for fruit we should not be getting duped for it we should be getting good quality fruit and I don't care what it takes for them to get it to us properly in good order you know I don't even care if it costs a little bit extra but I can tell you now the reason why so many people are saying fruit doesn't taste the way it used to when I was a kid if you're in your 40s or 50s or 60s they're bloody right. It doesn't. I wrote an article years ago when I first started my website, selfsufficientme.com. It was called Same Fruits, Different Tastes. And it was um, some reasons on, and it gave a list of reasons. I can't remember exactly now. I just remember the title of it. But it had the same sentiment as this, this poorly put together video rant um, of me eating in front of you. Uh, but it, it had the same sentiment. It was, and it was probably more logical and better worded. So if you want to search that on my website, go for it. I'll go back and have a look at it too and see um, how it looks. I might even update that article. Uh, but I just feel that the fruit we're buying from the supermarket is getting worse. And it is the main reason now why I grow my own food is because the organic, uh, the better... It's, it's healthier, uh, it, not necessarily because it, it's cost effective, but it usually is cheaper to grow your own food. Um, but that's not my main driver. The, the, the probably if I'm going to put it all on top, it's this. It's getting it's good produce that's healthy and tastes nice. Tastes the way a mango should. Now this has got rot, rot. On its side there probably started from that bit of black spot but I just cut that bit of rot off possums will get that tonight on the ground there and that to me is one of the most exciting and beautiful sights in nature you could ever see a homegrown ripe tree ripened mango I, and I'm going to eat this whole thing. Bit of rot there. Peel that back. Leave that there for the possum. There, the possum can have the rest of that. 
and maybe cut that seed somewhere and it might grow into a new mango tree. <laughs> that does taste like mangoes when I was a child. I just wanted to quickly put this together to show you how excited I am about good, fresh, homegrown produce and how pissed off I get when I see nice big glowing fruit that looked great on the supermarket shelf but is actually at worst could give us cancer but at best just doesn't taste like the fruit should and I think that's criminal and if I were you guys I'd grow your own fruit where you possibly can or buy your fruit from someone local who grows it locally or through a chain that specializes in getting organic fruit to you that has been not just grown organically but grown to its end of stage on the tree or the plant so that's what mangoes used to taste like and that's what they should taste like now but mangoes for me do taste like they used to taste and it's all over my face and hands thanks a lot for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up chat to me below in the comments section and uh, go to the website selfsufficientme.com bye for now